Well, I have a great honor today. How many of you are familiar with the show Undercover Boss? Our next winner has taken that idea to a whole new level. Will you please join me in congratulating Andy Bales of Union Rescue Mission. Andy, where are you? Desiring to uh, truly understand the needs of the homeless men and women he serves, Andy spent a night on the streets of Skid Row in Los Angeles, hearing firsthand their struggles and desires. As the CEO of Union Rescue Mission, Andy demonstrates a sacrificial attitude toward his role as a caregiver for the homeless and has a strong commitment to honor God. Andy has struggled with health challenges since coming to a Union Rescue Mission and recently he picked up an infection in the course of his work. The infection was complicated by his diabetes and ultimately resulted in his right leg being amputated just below the knee. Not one to be kept down, and he was back at work five days later. Hmm. I call him Iron Man Bales. <laughs> he told me in a one-to-one -one session, well, I'm gonna have my operation on Thursday, I'm gonna be back in the office on Monday. I kind of questioned that goal, <laughs> but sure enough, I think he spent a half a day in the office on Monday and a full day on Tuesday. Well, Andy brings over 29 years of experience in community outreach and service to those experiencing homeless friends or guests, as he calls them. He has had a pivotal role in reshaping hospital and governmental policies. He has assisted in the developing of transitional housing for mothers and their children living in the mission's downtown facility and in hotels around Skid Row and in Hope Gardens. With a personal commitment to never turn away a mother or her children, regardless of space or resources at the mission, Andy placed over 600 cots in the mission chapel this last winter to accommodate homeless women, doubling the mission's capacity. While raising their six children, Andy and his wife, Bonnie, also served over 25 children in foster care. Bonnie, are you here in the audience? Stand up. This is the love of his life, Bonnie Bales. As a convened member, Andy has personally sponsored two Christian leaders to convene and he enjoys mentoring and investing in future ministry leaders. And he has served numerous, has received numerous awards and honors for his community service, including being named the 930th recipient of the Point of Light by President George Bush in 1992. It could be said that a person in the role leading a Christian organization is paid to be a good steward, to serve consistently, to be dedicated to serving others. I believe that Andy Bales sets the standard for others to be measured. He works tirelessly and, is, and relentlessly in his pursuits to improve the conditions for the homeless in Los Angeles and across this nation. Please join me again in congratulating Andy Bales one of our Infinitely Beyond Award winners. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Greg. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. This, I just tell you, the weight of this thing is a test of my new leg. It's, uh, <laughs> the third step was the first test, and now balancing with this is the second. Uh, this, this comes at really an encouraging time. This has been 
you know, I, I've done this work for 32 years. This has been absolutely the toughest year uh, we've ever faced. Uh, I, I take people on a, a tour of our mission. It's, it's a two and a half mile walk or roll if you're in a wheelchair for a couple years. And uh, the first place I go is our Hall of History and I take them to a, a article from 1934 LA Times and it says that in 1934, the Great Depression, Union Rescue Mission fed 42% of the free meals in LA. And uh, I say right away there that there were 1.2 million people in LA at that time. We fed 134,000 meals. Um, and uh, I say, so 2010, the Great Recession, was our toughest year because 3.6 million people in LA and we fed uh, 1.4 million meals. So population grew by three times, meals grew by 10, and uh, that year we served 450 families. So I say that's 2010 was the toughest year we've ever had until this year, this year, uh, we have served 970 families, double, more than double the Great Recession, and uh, we have 468 single ladies, three times the number of ladies we had last year, and as, as was shared, we have double the occupants under our roof, and our giving is down 22%, $2.6 million. So I had a tough audit and finance meeting last week and a tough board meeting, uh, and yet we're still standing and uh, still depending on God to, uh, to make a way for us when there is no way. And, and yes, we never turn away a single woman because we can't bear what happens to them on the streets of L.A. And we never turn away a family with children. Just yesterday through Facebook, uh, I worked with my team to place two families. So thanks for this encouragement that we're doing what we should be doing. It's uh, one of the, the finest honors of my life, and and uh, couldn't have done it without you, Bill. Couldn't have done it without you, Greg. I've had a few phone calls to these gentlemen, so thank you very much. And my wife especially. Thank you, Bonnie, and thanks for taking time to come with me. You guys don't know it, but four years ago, Bonnie gave me her kidney so that I could continue uh, to do what I do. A much bigger sacrifice. Always check what the true facts are when you donate a kidney because Bonnie probably gave 10 to 15 years of her life so that I could continue uh, to live and, and do this work. So thanks, Bonnie.